when you come into Mimosa, it, it's one of those restaurants that, uh, you know, you're going to smell the, the wood-fired grill, the wood-burning pizza oven. The food is, is something that we believe in uh, to be very southern um, with American influences. We really look at the best ingredients and try to present those very artfully on a plate. My biggest mentor was John Caputo, uh, a gentleman who, you know, has a great family background in Italian cooking, but uh, trained under some really good chefs, both here and abroad over in France. Um, you know, really, really mentored me for about four and a half years and uh, did a great job doing so. You know, just the simplicity of food and, uh, you know, not trying to complicate a lot of flavors on a plate. Every area in the country that I've gone to has been different as far as the clientele. Some people are very open to different foods, some people are not. Uh, but you adapt to that and you can't have too much pride in yourself as a chef that you can adapt to that. Uh, you have to do what's right. You have to do what's local and, and uh, what the people here want. Yeah, you go through a stressful night where you've served three or four hundred people and hopefully you've made those three or four hundred people happy, but that's a life moment for that many people. And, and, and so it's inspiring to me. And, and when you get those people in and you make their day, uh, that's why I cook. Uh, we have an opportunity more so than probably any other uh, working class uh, to really make a person's day by food. My style uh, in the kitchen is very much that one of a, a chef who allows people around me to offer their ideas and their opinions. The biggest thing in life is, is to learn by doing a lot of times. Uh, you know, the greatest compliment to me is when a cook or a sous chef leaves and goes to become an executive chef or goes to become a sous chef and really has learned you know, their part uh, at Mimosa Grill. The reason that I'm, I'm standing here and, and want to be part of this uh, cooking competition is, is one, I'm a competitive person, <laughs> you know, and, and certainly chefs have a very, very large ego sometimes. And I'm not saying I'm not one of them, um, but I think, you know, for this, this competition, I can still get around a, a new kitchen pretty well. And, uh, you know, with the team that we put in place, I think we have a great opportunity in this.